Hi everyone, uh, like previous videos, today I will be also talking about one of the cognitive biases. This one is called the bandwagon effect. So bandwagon effect is deciding to do something in a certain way because the majority of people do so. As most people come to believe in something, others also hop on the bandwagon regardless of the underlying evidence. In a nutshell, doing something or deciding something or believing in something because the majority of the people do. Now, that general belief of the public or decision may be right or wrong. What are the impacts of the bandwagon effect? You may quickly make a decision without assessing its pros and cons just because everyone else is making that decision. You may quickly make a decision without assessing its alignment to your needs and values just because everyone else is making that decision. Or you may remain unaware of better alternatives because you quickly made the decision that everyone else did. These are just a few impacts of the bandwagon effect. A life example, Joe is trying to convince Alex not to invest in a certain country as the country's economy is not stable. Joe brings some factual evidence of this lack of stability. Then he suggests a different country with a stable economy for Alex to invest in. Alex tells him that even though the option that Joe suggests is good now, it's a bubble and it will collapse soon. When Joe asks based on what, Alex replies, everyone says so. In this example, Alex is a victim of the bandwagon effect. Now, the general public may be right or wrong about uh, the economical situation being a bubble, but Alex won't know until he does more analysis. Until then, he's a victim of the bandwagon effect, or not a victim necessarily, but he definitely is impacted by bandwagon effect. Another life example. A politician has become very popular because of promises he has made. The polls are in his favor. Tim's friend wants to vote for him. Tim also decides to vote for him because most of his friends vote for him. When someone asks Tim, why do you want to vote? His answer is that everyone else is. When asked, the candidate has not offered any plan to achieve his promises. Tim says most people trust him, so do I. Again, here uh, the person is blindfully trusting the public and his friends uh, without having any intuition into the decision that he's making. Again, this is, again, uh, being impacted by the bandwagon effect and uh, a quite common example, in fact. Let's look at a work example. Many companies, in my experience, uh, have switched to the agile project management methodology. Uh, let's, uh, let's pick a company and call it Company X, decides to make this switch as well, but without A, assessing if Agile suits their needs, and B, learning the cost and proper way to adapt the Agile methodology. So as a result, this, compa this company halfway through the switch uh, starts resisting the change because they had not accounted for the cost and behavior change that is required to shift uh, to Agile. I'm not saying that cost uh, is bad, it's just something that they had not accounted for and now they are resisting. Or after incurring these costs, they realize that Agile did not really suit their need and did not really match their context in the first place. So here, in fact, uh, is a common example. A lot of companies in the industry may do something because it has become a trend or a buzzword uh, without assessing its alignment with their needs or without being aware of what it takes to make the change and plan for the change. 
Uh, now, that shift uh, in this example was not needed, but let's say for a company it may be needed. It may be in fact needed and helpful for a company to switch to Agile. They still need to validate that and have a valid reason. They should not do it just because everyone else is. And a hugely important note, please note that this does not mean that whatever the majority believes in is wrong. The objective here is to seek evidence and rationale behind what the majority favors. In other words, the objective is not to always reject what the majority believes in, but to not blind blindfully accept it either. So, common reasons for bandwagon effect. Winners and being right. Many people love winners and want to be right. So they follow them and uh, agree with whatever they do. Fear. The fear of being left alone or left out or missing something. Decision-making abilities. Some may not have confidence in their decision-making ability, so they blindfully trust uh, the public or some people may really not have much decision making skills themselves so instead of building them uh, they decide to accept whatever others say groupthink groupthink is a form of bandwagon effect where seeing others do something makes you want to do it so that you are conforming with everyone else in fact, uh, this, this is an interesting topic itself, worthy of a video. Hopefully in the future, I will uh, create some content about that. Now, there are some tips to reduce bandwagon effects. Again, um, these are not set in stone, but they may be helpful. So always ask yourself, are you doing it because it is something you want to do or because everyone else is doing it? or because everyone else is doing it? Does it align with your values? And does it align with your needs? So if asking your uh, these questions before making the decision helps you hopefully avoid falling into the bandwagon effect. Exploring different alternatives. By becoming aware of more choices, you can somewhat reduce the appeal of the option that everyone else is choosing. Now that option which is favored by the public may be still the best one, but you have done uh, the alternative analysis, so you're making a more informed decision. Or it may be wrong and you may find a better alternative. Take time to identify more alternatives. Do pro and cons analysis of the bandwagon choice and other alternatives. Assess the alignment of the bandwagon and other alternatives to your needs and values. If you take the time to do all those, uh, it's it's actually a lot less probable that you fall into the bandwagon effect. Again, you may still choose the decision that everyone else is choosing, but you know that you are doing so for a good reason. And minimizing the group uh, influence, that's, uh, that's a different one. Uh, it has more depth and Hopefully in the future, I'll make a video on that um, exclusively. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please subscribe to this channel to become aware of the upcoming content.